Hello everybody and welcome back to Age of Wonders Planetfall as the Psy Syndicate. Welcome back. Now, in this episode, I hope to get a lot more done than I did in the previous episodes um, because I just want to kind of get through a lot more. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into our next quest line, which is over here. This is by the Psy Fish, the Dark Heartened. Or the Dark Hearted, I should say. Oh, nope, I can't. Next turn, I will. <laughs> Just envision a better life where all the tasks you hate are automated. We don't wish to replace you with a robot. Once it's trained, you'll thank us for eliminating inefficiencies. Dean Nupar, efficiency expert. All right, so we gained operation effectiveness one, which actually upgrades our tactical and strategic operation points by two, our operational strength and defense by two, and also gives us an extra doctrine slot. Very nice. Now, uh, we will go into something that will help us. <laughs> uh, probably energy development. Just so when we do actually go into the next sector, uh, we can do this, like, immediately. Because we need energy. We're starting to fall very far behind in it. Uh, it's not great. It's not great at all. All right. Confirm movement. Absolutely. Go over here. Great. Okay, so they have 500 defense power. We have 952 attack power. And there is... Geothermal instability. So every two turns, the battlefield surges with geothermal heat, dealing eight damage to all units, with a strength chance of causing burning to non-ethereal and non-mineral units for three turns. Are you freaking kidding me? Why did this have to spawn here? <laughs> Damn it. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. Let's do it. We gotta, like, get through this combat, like, really, really quickly. Oh my god, look at that effect on the battlefield. That is insane. This is a weird makeup, too, because they have some, like, tiger avatar-looking unit. Uh, they have some weird melee punk rockers and uh, a helicopter. Uh, I, yeah, fantastic. <laughs> so it looks like they have to come to us, but I never get lucky when it comes to just defending this one area. I have to move up on my first turn or else they just stay there, you know? So we will do that. We will actually move up. Probably, let's see if we can attack from here first. And if we can't, okay, we can. 20% though. And you know what's funny is that I think, yeah, it. <laughs> our commander already has the exploitive targeted system. So we already have 20% extra accuracy. Without this mod would be nothing. We wouldn't be able to actually hit this target. Let's hold off on attacks for right now. It doesn't really matter, I guess, but... I like to see where I can move units to, to see if I can get a better attack chance or damage them or whatever, before I actually just start attacking. Uh, I want to make sure I can do the most damaging attack that I possibly can. The Overseer will go over here. And our Indentured. Now, is this unit a ranged unit? I presume so. Uh, yeah, makeshift laser turret and... A fire barrel. Launch an explosive barrel filled with a cargo of plasma, dealing damage in a one hex radius. What are you guys? Melee. This unit consumes chemicals that give it a fast movement and increase its damage dealt by 25%. Okay, I take it back. They're not just punk rockers. They're also punk rockers from the Mad Max universe, where they spray <laughs> that stuff into their mouths. And Oh, great. Fantastic. This cute little guy over here, uh, is, uh, it's a melee unit, but it deals 13 damage, it staggers the unit, it bypasses all shields, it applies bleeding damage, and if it flanks, it gains more damage. Okay, that's, uh, a problem. But I think what we should do is just not worry about cover. I mean, I will for this unit. I mean, screw it. Just get all of our units right over here in the cover. I was just going to have them kind of lined up over here and just start firing. Um, but if we do this, they should move up now. Should. <laughs> we are close enough where they can technically start attacking. So I think it'll prompt them to move up next turn. And of course we missed. I gave you extra accuracy and you still miss. Our commander is just not great in this APC. I'm actually considering... Swapping it out. Because while the APC looks kind of amazing, um, it doesn't really fit the aesthetic of our units, nor is it great at all. Uh, it, do it hasn't really been effective for us. So I think we should uh, consider removing him from the uh, 
the APC. We'll see. I mean, I know you can get better APCs and stuff, but at the moment, I just don't like it. And of course, they're gonna go berserk. Did you just attack us? Oh, what the f- Okay, I think they missed, actually. <laughs> Uh, okay, all right. The Overwatch. I love the Overwatch on these indentured. It's freaking amazing. Although this is not good. Operations ready. Okay, all right. Yeah. So the Overwatch actually did a lot of damage to this um, Swift Beak, and it actually caused it. I, I don't know if it caused it, but it missed its attack, which is a melee attack that it missed, which is just absolutely insane. But it happens. Definitely does. Right. What are we gonna do? I feel like we should attack this unit first with one of our indentured. Okay. And that should have gotten rid of Overwatch. No, it doesn't. Overwatch only on miss or graze. Huh. Okay. Perfect. And uh, finish them off. Hey, perfect! We actually gained a rank up on this unit. And attack this unit. Very nice. So one thing that someone did point out to me was that all units in battle gain, like, the same experience. Well, that doesn't seem to be true, though. Because this unit just upgraded separately from another unit. When, pretty much, these three units have been in the same combats since the beginning of the game. So I'm not sure if that's actually accurate. I I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong. But it seems like these units are actually upgrading differently from each other. Again, I can't really know for sure right now. We'll check when we get out of battle. But I don't know. That, that seems strange. Right. Um, if we attack the helicopter, damn, that can actually destroy it if we actually land these attacks. Uh, oh, don't attack. Hang on. Stop. Move on. Move over here first. Okay, that didn't really change anything. Alright, I guess... Yeah, I guess fire. Come on! Take it down! Ah, oh, you grazed it. Damn it. 65% chance. That's... Ugh. You know what? Try to go after the helicopter and take it out. Enemy kill. Holy... Damn, that was perfect. <laughs> Alright, uh, we could use a operation, but it does cost a lot of energy. And while we can't see what we're using right now, I don't think it's going to be worthwhile. So, let's close that, and you know what? Just toggle auto combat. But there's only one unit left. It can't really do a lot of damage to us. So I think we're going to be okay in actually doing this. Okay, we actually... Oh! We resisted a lot of the incendiary because some of our mods. It's actually kind of perfect. Okay, what are the... I have no idea what's going on right now. They're using... <laughs> They're using abilities that I didn't even know we had. I have no idea what that sensor thing was. Alright, but we still won. So, there's that, I guess. Great! Another quest bites the dust. Objective completed. Silence! Toxic pollutions dilute in the stream of thoughts. Smoke clears. We soar again. Free of savage oppression. We wake again. We thank you. I don't understand how you guys are affected by these units, which are way over here near my territory. <laughs> I, I just don't understand that, but I will take the reward. Thank you. That's done. Uh, we do need to heal, actually. But we can't heal in this sector because of the fact that this is a geothermal instability sector. <laughs> so, let me just kind of explain what this little hazard does. Now, this hazard can be cleared up with a certain tech, but we don't have that yet. Um, so, annexing the sector provides minus 8 unhappiness, minus 20% production. Units in this sector lose their strategic map regeneration, so next turn we wouldn't be able to heal if we ended in this sector. Units also suffer minus two thermal resistance in this sector. And every two combat turns, which you saw already, uh, causes burning damage and uh, just garbage. Absolute garbage. So, 
I guess we'll try to get out of this sector as fast as we possibly can. Message from the growth. Uh, oh. Symbiont Soul Tenebris. Why do you aid the enemies of Mother Node? We ask you to stop aiding our foes. They're, you're at war with them? You know, I think I'd rather be friends with the Psy Fish. To be honest, because... You're far away. I mean, they're far away too, but at least they're on the same island or continent that we are. And I think I'd rather have some psionic fish in my ranks than a bunch of bees. Although bees are pretty cool. <laughs> so I don't I don't care. I really don't. Okay, we can move our scout. Uh, why don't we move them just down the coast again? Just to see if we can take any... Yep, perfect. We gained some Cosmite. We gained 10 Cosmite at this location. Come down here. And, nope, can't take care of that. Our other scout will head over here to actually see what this new faction is. You're about to trespass. Uh, cancel that, but... Oh, it doesn't actually establish communication? Come on, how do we talk to you? <laughs> okay, well, maybe next turn we'll, we'll talk to them. Oh, the, oh what the... F Okay. Looks like they bought this city location. Shit. We need to take this, like, now. Uh, Empire task has been unlocked. Sign a friendship pack with a faction and buy five items from a faction. The first reward is 50 influence and 50 energy. Empire task completed. And I guess we completed a task, which is do two quests for NPC faction and achieve peace with an NPC faction. And I'm not sure if we actually gained this reward. It looks like we might have. Uh, gain 25 influence. What's the doctrine for this? You gained 100% more influence from quests. That would actually be pretty nice. You know what? We have that available. Operations available for priming. Let's go ahead and prime it. It does take 100 energy, but I think it's definitely worth it. It'll take one turn to actually go into effect, which uh, will give us enough time to actually wait on this one to uh, gain that benefit. You know what I'm saying. Either way, just prime this. Uh, relations have improved with the Psy Fish Faction. We are now at peace. Now available for trade, the Chrysalis, the Spawn, the Mantra of Illusion, and the Mind Barrier. This mod creates a small psionic barrier around the unit, granting it 6 psionic resistance and 3 damage resistance. Oh, 6 status psionic resistance and 3 damage psionic resistance. Okay. Uh, Mantra of Illusion... Psionic abilities are supported by Lightly Obscured, and their psionic attacks have an 8% chance to gain uh, Hallucinating for two turns. Don't know what those do, but sure, that works. Now, yeah, this is, uh, I think, much better, because like I said, the Psy Fish, while also being cool, they have psionic attacks, which actually makes it more worthwhile to go with the Psy Fish than the uh, the growth. Um, can, we, can we purchase one right now? Well, we'll wait on buying that city first. But this is actually going to be really, really nice to have, you know, the ability to buy their units, which is, uh, oh, freaking great. Okay, so it looks like we did finish our research on the tech level 2 for research exploitation. And now we're going to work on the military innovation center. And we can unlock a new sector. Which is perfect. And I think it, is it going to be this over here? This uh, would grant us 15 energy per turn. That would be nice. Or, alternatively, we have this... Ah, uh, yeah, no. I'm not going to buy this sector because I don't want to annex all that unhappiness. Uh, it, it's not going to be worthwhile. Plus, uh, we can't really do it yet because this uh, this side fish faction is still here. I could tell them to move, but I think we'll just leave this alone for now. We'll just annex this sector. So you know what? Come over here, please. You're actually going to be useful. Uh, found... Uh, no, annex a sector for Krythus. Orders required. Yep, come on down to the city. Which we are actually going to convince these people to join us. Welcome to the Psy Syndicate. Uh, yeah, we're going to turn this... Ooh. Okay, so after hearing about your many virtuous deeds and reputation, the colonists of this settlement believe in your leadership and have decided to join your cause. Now, we could turn this into a colony, which I definitely kind of want to do. Alternatively, we could turn this settlement into a colonizer unit and colonize elsewhere. Uh, or invite them to live in your colony, which would give plus two population. I mean, ideally, I would have liked to have settled over here. 
just so I can grab this landmark and this landmark. Actually, is this even a landmark? No. But I was going to say, I don't know if I can settle right next to another colony. <laughs> so I think we'll just take this as a settlement and then just hopefully quickly expand up to uh, Animal Ridge. Either way, let's go ahead and turn this into a colony. Now, I might want to wait one extra turn before I attack because we are pretty worse for wear in terms of uh, health. Um, we're not doing too great right now. So we might as well just wait one turn. We have two left on this quest, and I think that's plenty of time. Come down here. Is there an auto... Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> uh, is there an auto scout button anywhere? No? Hmm. It's kind of annoying. Hmm. And over here? Can I meet you? Do I already know you? I still have not met them. How do I talk to... If I trespass... Hmm. Do I need to find, like, a unit of theirs or something? That's interesting. And we now have the Doctrine enacted, so when we go ahead and complete this uh, mission, we'll actually gain 100% more influence for uh, that mission than we did previously. Which is pretty damn nice. Hey, there we go. Kistara is now our city. Now, again, if you guys have a great city name, please let me know in the comment section below. I think I might use one that was suggested before, um, but I'll wait until the next episode to actually do that. But again, we're going to have plenty more cities, so if you do want to see your city name in the game, then please let me know in the comment section below. And if it fits our empire, I will definitely get to it. All right, let's finish this quest. Their defense power is 470. Ours is 868. Yeah, not... The overseer got, like, really injured. <laughs> But if we keep that overseer in, like, the back, we should be okay. Now, I think these are the Paragon. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, so Paragon Guards. Um, they look really, really cool, actually. They're infantry cyborgs. They can deal arc damage, it looks like. Yeah, shield charge. Okie dokie. We also have some ranged units in this battle, so we can't just rely on just Overwatch and all that kind of stuff. We actually have to engage the ranged units, which is definitely a change from our normal uh, battles, but uh, this is the exact same map that we were just on. <laughs> Great. Uh, let's go over here. Let's also move up over here. The indentured will go right behind our commander in uh, in cover. The overseer, again, you're staying back for now. So we'll move one of our indentured over here and one of our indentured over here. And the overseer right in the back. Ah, you might as well attack. Again! You know what? Yeah, we're definitely getting rid of the APC. I don't know what we're going to buy to replace it, but I'll, I'll think of something. Because I this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> Not only that, but it doesn't actually do any, like, extra damage. It just It's just regular. You know? I kind of want a psionic attack <laughs> with my commander. Alright, let's add the defensive shields onto this unit and the two units adjacent to it. And the overseer will uh, just defense mode. Uh, well... You can technically attack. Ah, uh, 15%. No. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. All right. Okay, jeez. Unit under enemy control. Oh, come on. What? All right. Wasn't expecting that. No. Damn it. Alright, these guys are a little bit more feisty than I <laughs> I thought they were gonna be. Operations ready. If I attack this unit, the arc will jump over here. But if I attack this unit, the arc will jump way over here onto my own unit. How the hell does that make any sense? <laughs> I I don't understand. Uh no. I, I don't wanna do that. Right, okay. 
let's move up with my commander. Just so I can move up with my enforce. Oh, shoot! Okay, I didn't think the overwatch would activate there. Alright, go up and attack her. Enemy eliminated. Perfect. So, is this ours now? Yes! Okay, so that removes the mind control, which is actually pretty nice. <laughs> Ugh. Just brought me back to, like, some really awful days in XCOM where they would mind control my units and just... It would hurt. It would hurt a lot. Attack! Fantastic. And... Um... Attack with this unit. Enemy down. All right, great. Uh, move over. Actually, don't even move. Just attack. Hey, another upgrade. Enemy. Yeah, destroyed. again, like I said, I think it is definitely based on per unit the experience, because that unit just upgraded after killing a unit. So I don't think it is battle wide. Maybe they gain a base experience for each battle completed, but it definitely seems like they gain extra experience for killing units. I mean, I don't know, but that's that's what it seems like from, from this. Alright, that wasn't a lot of damage. Let's uh, attack with the commander now. You know what this unit reminds me of? It reminds me of, um... I mean, obviously zombies, but there's a certain... Maybe it's a Doctor Who villain? I don't know, it reminds me of something like... No! That's what it is. It's um from... What's that movie? The, um, the uh, Mortal Engines. There's a cyborg unit that has, like, the skin of its old human, but it's, like, aged like this. It's disgusting. Yeah, that's what this reminds me of. Either way, let's go ahead and auto-turn the rest of this... Uh, what? It used one of my tactical operations. You know, I was saving my energy for a reason. I don't like how it does that. It should always preserve your tactical operations. That's not good, but, um, yeah, it happened. We, we completed that objective. <laughs> Sweet solace. Paragon hunters are gone. Delicious harmony. The past must remain in the past. Tasty emptiness decorate their tombs, wandering in the void. Ten relations, twenty influence, and twenty-one science. You know what, let's go ahead and actually sell the research uh, for 21 extra energy to kind of compensate for our, <laughs> our tactical operation. We don't really need the science right now, we're making quite a bit of it, so I think that'll be alright. Sector annexed. Perfect, and our sector has been annexed. Uh, once we go ahead and complete all this stuff now, I will go ahead and exploit that sector for... Uh, energy. A Psyfish Faction Demand. I just completed your freaking objective and you're going to demand something from me? The material you gather, Cosmite, familiar to us, vital. To maintain relations, you must sacrifice- 15 Cosmite? Are you kidding me? We gain 25 reputation, though. And 5 favors. Mm, damn it. Yeah, do it. Oh, that hurts. What are we up to now in relations? 25 more favors until we get to friendship. We have 15 at the moment. Hmm. We could purchase something, actually, right now. Do I want... Uh, I want a chrysalis. The chrysalis actually looks really freaking cool. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so that's bonding Krythus. Um, can we get another one? We can. Perfect. So we have two extra side fish units now, which will actually go ahead and move into this army. All right, perfect. And what do they do? So Mind Strike is a pulse with psionic energy, dealing a Mind Strike to the target, which bypasses all armor because it is a psionic attack, and psionic blast, which it deals damage in a one hex area, staggers the unit, and ignores line of sight. Ooh, that's pretty good. Now we could actually add some things in here that would be pretty damn nice for this unit. You know, I think for now we'll actually upgrade the accuracy, and then later on we'll upgrade the flames. Uh, so I just, re so I just, what is this? Metamorphosis. The unit evolves when it reaches the prime rank, which is the last and final rank at uh, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that sounds fun. Uh, they're also ethereal beings. 
These units are able to pass through walls and have resistance against the kinetic, biochemical, and arc damage, and are immune to all non-psionic status effects. Holy crap, these units are amazing! I mean, their damage could be better, but we can just mod that on. So yeah, mod this unit and all equivalent units. We will call this the... I guess the accurate chrysalis for now? It's not going to really last long with just this mod. <laughs> We're going to upgrade it to have better stuff, so that's that's fine for now. Electronic mechanisms employed by the Empire appear to have developed a passive-aggressive attitude towards abuse. If a device is mishandled, it may drain more energy than allotted in system specs. We suspect automaton activists to be responsible. Nonetheless, it's good to upgrade your infrastructure. Tate Oreck, Productivity Conspiracist. All right, so we unlocked Energy Development 1, which upgrades our sector to level 2, uh, and also gives us two buildings that we could build in that sector, although we have to choose one of them. That is the uh, the only drawback to um, these kind of techs. I guess with that, we could grab this tech, uh, which is Environmental Conditioning, which actually allows us to get rid of that hazard, which would be pretty nice getting rid of this, considering it is in the, in the middle of our two cities. So we're going to want this sector eventually. Um, and I think, yeah, that's definitely going to be worth it. So we'll actually go up in through... Oh, I thought we needed food development. I guess not. Okay, so environmental conditioning. And then we'll probably go back for food development. Just because I want to get these first level uh, developments done. Alright, and we can actually upgrade our commander. We have six skill points. Hero gains Farsight and has Agile Overwatch when using Overwatch. Well, considering we can't even use Overwatch, that's not even really that great for us. Although, like I said, I am going to switch out my APC, so that might be worth it. In fact, what can we do in here? We do have the Shell Splitter, which would give us just regular damage again. I mean, that's still a lot of damage, but that's because it's a sniper and it takes a full action to actually fire this bad boy. Um, we could purchase the Pulse Sniper, but I feel like we already have something like that, so... Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to actually upgrade the commander until I figure out what I want the commander to actually have. So, in the meantime, we'll just leave it the way it is. Really quickly now, come over here. Grab this, which is a weapon research vessel. Uh, you find an intact secretor, or secretor, uh, inside the analytics and diagnostics chamber. We could keep the item, or we could activate the diagnostic protocols in order to study it, uh, destroying the item in the process. I think I'd rather have the item. What are you? Oh, it's a Creator! Ah, I get it now. Eight strength chance to imply in case for two turns. If resisted, this ability causes stagger. It's a biochemical weapon. Mmm. That sounds pretty nice. <laughs> we will actually acquire the Secreter. Uh, and what is this? Restores full health. Ugh. I guess just sit on it for now. Go over here. Damn it. I, I honestly don't know how to meet these guys. Because I can't... I can't click on their thing and they're not in here as a commander. So I, I don't know. Orders required. Um, just head back home for now. Heal up. We'll figure out what to do with you in the next episode. Uh, orders required. Same thing. Just sit here. Set production in Kistara. Uh, we will... Oh, boy. Uh, let's get a replicator, I think. Uh, no. I don't even know. I, I, right now, I just want to end the episode. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I'll wait till next episode to actually change the production. So anyway, thank you all for watching, and definitely stay tuned for more.